Hello everyone, welcome back to Shabis IT Talks and uh, my today video recording is related to the labbing. I am going to record a session regarding the EVNG emulator. So how you are going to install it, how you are going to download it from the website and how many resources and uh, other parameters and softwares do you need to access the uh, EVNG machine. So first of all, I will take you to the EVNG website, ev-ng, and then uh, you can just directly click on enter. It will redirect you to the website. And uh, once you reach to the EVNG uh, website, under the download section, you have to click on the download. And there are a few uh, softwares that you must require. So first of all, there are two uh, version of the EVNG VMs are available. Number one is the professional one and the community edition. So I'm going to install this free community edition. And beside this, you if you are using a Windows operating system, Microsoft Windows OS, then you need a Windows client side uh, tool actually. So what this tool contains, if I give you the details, the Windows client side tool, it contains the Wireshark, Ultra VNC, Putty, and this Plink, and all necessary wrappers. So in this one utility, in this Windows client side pack, is everything is loaded. So for example, if you download the free community edition or the professional edition, and you directly, without installing this Windows client side utility, you will not be able to access the VM actually. So what you have to do first, you have to install this free community edition under the virtualization platform. Either you can use VirtualBox, either you can use Microsoft VMware Workstation. Along that, you can use ESXi server if you have. And beside this, like VMware, Player, anything you have. Okay. And then you have to install this Windows client side tool on your laptop. Okay, so first I'm going to uh, download the free community edition. It will be redirect me to the uh, free community edition download link. If you want to verify the SHA and SHA25 checksums, you can also verify that or either you can just directly install it. So there are two options. First, you have to, you if you want to download it from the MAGA link, you can just click on the MAGA. It will redirect you to the MAGA link. And then simply, it will load the website in a few seconds. And then you have to just simply click on the download link. So it's just a 1.3 GB file, means 1 GB. Uh, so just click on the download button. It will directly initialize, OK? And then I will also download this uh, Windows client side utility. I will just click on OK, uh, because uh, it's already uh, the Mega drive is installed on my PC. So it will just directly download it to my uh, Mega uh, folder. And beside this, I will download the Windows client side pack. So Windows client side pack is already installed on my computer. It is recommended when you are installing the EVNG machine. I will just uh, say that first install this Windows client side tool. So you can just directly click on the link. It will redirect you to the mega website and it's almost around 100 uh, okay, 60 MB. So just click on the download and it will uh, download it to my default directory click on ok so as you can see the initialization the download is complete so this utility evng win client pack is already installed on my machines okay so i'm not going to install this client set pack but you can install it if you don't install it or uh, if you don't have on your machine so just uh, you have to click on the because it's an executable file if I take you to my uh, client side, I, I will take you to my download folders. Uh, downloads. Hold on. I will just bring you to my documents. Hold on, guys. Magazine uh, download.
Windows client side utility okay it's not here uh, let me find the path uh, hold on sorry guys it's uh, the download is actually under process as you can see these both files are downloaded into my computer so first I will show you how to install this uh, uh, client pack utility so show in folders uh, it's just a executable file so we'll just click on yes just double click on the file and it will show you this uh, options okay and then you will just uh, you have to click on the next next and as you can see all the default utilities are already selected so you don't have to check or uncheck anything just click on next okay uh, it will show that uh, the select language setup I will click on ok and then it will ask you to accept the agreement for the ultra VNC I accept the agreement next next and I'm not going to touch anything I'm just going to use the default settings so install and it will add an entry for the ultra VNC in the firewall on your local machine I'm sorry next finish now it will proceed to Wireshark 64 already as I, I already have the Wireshark on my computer so would you like to uninstall for us? You can just click yes. It will just uninstall and install it again. So click next. I agree. Next, next. I don't need any tools. I am just going to just follow the standard installation. So I don't require any additional features and all. next finish as you can see the utility is installed on my computer now uh, what we will do we I will extract the EV uh, machine the the one which is uh, one uh, one GB file I will extract it to my desktop I'll just click on open extract to my desktop okay and uh, just make it as EV VM. Hold on, guys. Come. So I'm already. Um, I'm already. Uh, I already have my server. So I will take you to my server, uh, which is ESXi platform. So I will install this on my uh, my ESXi server. So here is the extracted utility as you can see it is in uh, OVF format okay so here is the OVF format as you can see now I will show you how to install this util EV machine on uh, ESXi platform you can follow it as per your installation medium uh, whatever you are using so deploy virtual machine using OVF because my uh, my extracted file the the VM that I already downloaded it is in uh, OVF format as you can see if I show you the type you can see it's a format package for virtualization so uh, deploy a virtual machine from OVF or OVA file so next and uh, here I will give him like uh, my EV1 okay and uh, click on this option desktop evvm evcom and you have to select these three files open next next i'm going to use my vm network so thin uh, for example if you have some kind of port groups or something so you can use your uh, network card so i'm using to i'm going to use the default vm network this provision i'm going to choose thin and I will just click on next and uh, finish 
and uh, here you can see the recent task the VM deployment is under process so if for the time being I will just pause the video and I will come back once this installation deployment is uh, done so it will just take maybe two minutes as you can see guys the VMs is installed okay and uh, uh, it took the IP address as 1.22 from my VM network so let's uh, the default username and password is uh, I will write down on the notepad for you to understand to log in via the CLI to log in via CLI or SSH you have to use uh, username as a uh, root and password is uh, password is uh, for root is uh, ev in small and uh, for GUI login uh, you have to use uh, username uh, admin and uh, password is uh, ev so it's all uh, the username and password is actually all are in small if you are using GUI login if you are using the root login uh, directly to the VM or if you are trying to do the SSH connection so as you can see I will just log in as a root I will type Eve okay so it asking me for the password I will use the default password as Eve you can change uh, EVNG uh, I will just uh, make as EV1 and I will just make it uh, normal like my local EDCS lab uh, my local D active directory is installed as you can see here edcslab.com if you have you can just put it or you can just uh, leave it or either you can use evng.com or evng.net whatever it is so I am going to use the static IP address so you have to use the arrow key so once uh, the option is moved to static and you have to press the space bar to select the static option so the management network I will use 172.16.1.22 uh, you can use uh, according to your choice I'm sorry guys uh, 172.16.1.1 uh, DNS server I will use my local domain 1.1 and secondary I can use as Google okay no I don't need direct communication that's it okay guys so after uh, configuring the basic uh, options on the E for the EV uh, what we will do I will just uh, try to ping first that does the IP is reachable or not the one that I have assigned so let's verify it ping minus T 172.16.122 as you can see the IP address the one that I have signed to the EVNG machine it's pingable so it's mean the IP address is correct and, and it's correctly configured okay so I will just close this and what you have to do you have to just log in to uh, the via the browser so 172.16.1.22 enter and as I told you the default username for the GUI login is admin and the password is Eve so you can just click admin and password as Eve and from here there are two options HTML console or native so it's better to use the native console and click on the sign in page never okay so uh, here is the first login page under the file manager you can create your lab you can edit the name you can move the lab to another parent directory or subdirectory you can delete the selected items you can import the EVNG formatted file like exercise file if somebody who exported and you want to import it to your EVNG so uh, the exported file can be import or either you can export your exercise file also the lab file I mean to say so under the management I will show you some basic options like uh, you will see uh, it will redirect you to the page so we don't need this if you click on this EVNG it will redirect you to the EVNG website 
the one that from where we downloaded okay under the information you will find the youtube channel and all and help desk options regarding the system if you check on the system status it will show you your cpu load your memory size your swap partition and disk the guys who already have a knowledge of a linux of linux family operating system they better know what is the swap partition okay so uh, system logs uh, you can also see the system logs that uh, locally generated and management user management if you have a license for the evng you can create uh, more than one user so we are using community edition so we have a limited rights okay and uh, let's go to the main page okay guys uh, i will just pause the video and i will uh, download some uh, evng uh, ios uh, like mean to say the ios files and we will upload it to the evng and uh, uh, we will see how it's booting and how to upload the files so in the next video i will show you how to upload the file to the evng directory and how you can create your uh, lab and how you can apply the configuration the basic things on the switches and firewalls and all okay guys this that's for it for right now i'm going to stop the video for uploading the uh, ios or images uh, you have to watch my second video on my channel thank you for your time thank you for watching my videos please kindly like and subscribe to my channel so at least you will have a uh, also click on the bell icon so you will receive a notification for my upcoming new videos thank you very much